Dwayne Johnson is the Tooth Fairy in Tooth Fairy. He is a minor league hockey player with that nickname because he can knock opposing players' teeth out. It's like the Disney version of Goon. One night he takes a dollar which is meant to be tooth money from his girlfriend's daughter and forgets to put it back. Instead of rectifying the situation, he decides to tell her that the Tooth Fairy isn't real, which causes him to be summoned by the head fairy, played by the delightful Julie Andrews, and he is sentenced to two weeks Tooth Fairy duty. Now in 1993, a script was written for Arnie. He chose to do Last Action Hero, and the idea just went into limbo. So it's funny that many years later, down the line, Dwayne Johnson should pick this up because of that fan theory of Arnie's appearance in the rundown slash Welcome to the Jungle is him passing the torch on to Johnson. And seeing as Johnson took a similar road that Arnie took by being an action hero and then taking a turn in kid-friendly movies, I just think it's quite a nice parallel. Though I don't think we ever saw Arnie sport a tutu. Wayne Johnson proves again in this film that he is willing to go the full mile and not once is he even embarrassed by it. He does what he can, he sprinkles his charisma where possible, but it just isn't enough for this less than magical script. Stephen Merchant elevates the film somewhat by playing Johnson's tooth fairy caseworker, but you also can't escape the fact that he is doing his usual act in this film. But for non-British viewers that probably weren't used to seeing him on your TV set all the time, <laughs> he probably would have been classed as quite a novelty. Saying that, there is a moment that had me in absolute hysterics involving him and an amnesia gun. We are treated to a cameo from Billy Crystal, which was his first live action role in eight years since Analyze That. He is performing a skit somewhat reminiscent to his role in A Princess Bride, but here he has wings. It's the here, I'm picking stuff up and talking to you about them. Here is another thing, and I'm going to talk to you about them. You know, only Billy Crystal can do such an act and put a smile on my face. This film is like the child version of It's a Wonderful Life without the whole depressing aspect of what would the universe be like without a certain character? Because certain enough, one of the characters gets his wings! Unlike It's a Wonderful Life, he is not an angel, he is a tooth administrative person. The film is about believing, most kids films are, but it never reaches that joy of a film like Elf. It fails in making the audience believe. It's like the poor seasons the Santa Claus. All that is left is the Easter Bunny coming this Easter. I think I would rather sit in the dental chair than go anywhere near this film again. So what are your thoughts and feelings on the Tooth Fairy? Pop them in the comment box below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe so you do not miss out on the remaining 31 days of Dwayne Johnson. Thanks for watching.